Hey everybody, Pat here with Farland Classic Restoration. Happy Farland Friday. We are over here in the shop, just showing you around all the recent projects we have here in the building. We'll get started over here with the Series 2 Ferrari 330 GT 2 Plus 2. This is one that came in for some documentation, that kind of stuff. Making sure everything's original on this one before it goes up on a uh, local auction site. Step in here as well, check out that fantastic blue interior. This one has been hanging out over in the showroom the last few weeks, but we've just got some time and been able to detail and document this one. So. And excuse all the music in the background there. We'll have that going probably all day here on the live stream. The 330 GT 2 plus 2. Side that one, we're getting finished up with the 1955 Chevrolet Corvette. <clears throat> First year of the V8 in the Corvette. Take a peek there. Before this, the standard engine in the Chevrolet Corvette was the Blue Flame inline six. In 55, they introduced this bigger V8 engine option, and of course, it took off. And now the Corvette is obviously synonymous with the V8 engine styling. This one, we're just finishing up some convertible top stuff. Making sure everything's fitting nice and square, as well as sewing on a few more pieces, some more trim type stuff. But definitely cool, the Harvest Yellow, Harvest Yellow over Woodland Green. Beside that one, you can see shop manager Louise working away and getting buttoned up on a few of the restorations here. Here is the 1972 Ferrari Daytona. You can see we're beginning to work on interior stuff here, putting in a little bit of the leather trim as well as all that dyna padding and then the custom shelf that Josh has built for the AC and speaker system both those are incorporated back here you can see the AC running through the center holes here kind of a more factory look than the standard that first came in here up top you can see the two speaker system and then over on the far side you can see the seatbelt system he's designed making sure that one's all good for the owner making sure this one looks all good looking safe and cool then you can see we're also doing some window trim type stuff we've also been working on the rear windshield just making sure everything's sealed and looking good on the 1972 ferrari daytona we'll look through here as well you can see we've got doors laid out here and then all of our parts Everything labeled all throughout. Our originally, ooh, original Ferrari dealership plate. Sorry for the flip there. It's more of our speakers, headlights, tail lights, um, classic Ferrari badging. And then some more bodywork trim type stuff that's still got to go in. Over in the detailing booth, you can see we've got the Chevy truck. Dima is currently doing some polishing and cleaning that one up, getting it ready for final delivery. Over here is the round headlight crew. We have the 1966 electric 912, the late 50s 190 SL, the 67 Amphicar 700 that recently came in, and this gorgeous red 190 SL. So we'll work our way back here and slowly get through all these. First up is the real 
pride and joy of the shop lately, the electric 912. You can see we've got that front end looking great. Josh has got all the lighting hooked up, everything working through there. We are still doing a little bit of work getting the door card set. You can see we've got seat covers in it and just, you know, some classic throw mats to keep your feet clean while you're in there. But uh, still working on those door cards. Let's see, I'll spin around. This is the first time I've seen both door cards in the car, so cool to see. Oh, never mind. I'm obviously on top of it. I saw that uh, window crank and figured we were set. But forgive me there. Over here, you can see our 280SL top we've been working on. Doing some sanding and addressing a few paint issues through the top here. You can also see that spot right here. Definitely addressing this one, right? There's a few other spots. Did some chipped paint, that kind of thing. And then very similar up front here, right? This is that leading edge, so the windshield meets the, uh, the top here. Super common place to see all sorts of injuries, we'll call them. But it doesn't look bad in the crew there. Kind of a cool shot. Over in the 190, you can see we are beginning to get interior in there. Getting that all trimmed up with the carpeting. As well as making sure right wiring's running through everything's factory correct there on this four speed. So we've also been addressing that cowl, getting that one back to the original. And then I wasn't going to unwrap it. Maybe I'll just flip this top here so we can take a peek at those very, very rare Solex carburetors. Jack was telling me many people in the day ended up changing those to Weber's just because of Weber's usage and practicality. But nowadays the Solexes are super sought after uh, for that original originality aspect. 190 SL this is a very cool one the 67 Amphicar 700 it's believed around 3,000 were originally produced kind of a cool little logo there based on the Volkswagen Schwimmwagen which was a I believe it was based off the, the VW thing kind of a more uh, military use type vehicle you can see a lot of uh, Volkswagen, West Germany inspiration here, right? And then you have a four-speed transmission here that runs back to your rear-mounted engine and transaxle that actually is called a land and sea transmission. You can see on either end here on the front of the transmission, those... Uh, prop shafts heading out either direction and then you also have the transaxle that actually spins the rear wheels so very interesting to see something you definitely don't get to see super often but uh something we're gonna be addressing this has been moved over to a fuel injection system so we're getting this one running and then we're doing the typical farland detail cleanup on this one and getting it ready for consignment over in the showroom so Definitely a unique one here. Lots of 50s American inspiration back here. One of my favorites is this weird fin design. You can see how it kind of curves off near the top. And of course your exhaust coming up right here, keeping it up and out of the water the 67 Amphicar. We will head outside here. And the bright sun yellow W113. There's the blue 280 with the uh, top work. You can see this one is a little lighter than that one we were checking out outside, but this one is a blue over blue, so. A little more common color combo. This one we haven't shown off very much. This is the 
1960 Bentley S2. This one will be going up on consignment here in the next few days. One of my favorites on this car is the magic open door that holds itself wherever you let go. So watch as I open it. It won't swing back any. There's no points for the door to hold on to. It's just free to move wherever I like throughout the uh, door range there. So kind of cool, especially for 1960. Very futuristic. It's a little tougher to tell, but this is a two-tone car. You can see a little darker gray, whereas the top's a little more silvery, so. I'm doing a little bit of an engine bay cleanup in this one, as well as some more detail type work. Close that as best we can. Check out the tower of cars here, the 65 Ford Mustang, the Jaguar XKE 2 Plus 2, another one of our W113s in for the engine bay restoration. You can see all the seam sealer through there. Our friends over at Blast Tech just down the block were the ones that got that original paint out and got us all cleaned up. Down below is our Lincoln Continental with the LS3 swap. Squeeze by everything here. We've got the Mercedes, S-Class, 6.3 AMG. And we got a few engines and some suspension componentry sitting here, right? That's our 912 engine out of the soft window Targa. We have some suspension componentry that I'm not sure looking at it off the top of my head. I want to say that's some Mercedes type stuff trying to figure it out on the fly here. Other than that, we've got an inline six from Mercedes out of the W113s, of course. And then other than that, we got a few covered up here. The Corvette 427, another 190 SL. And it looks like we got a Jeep Grand Cherokee hiding over here. Getting some body work, front end, rear end getting that all cleaned up. Kind of a quicker fly through today. 